Solid Edge includes easy to use and easy to administer tools for managing fast growing volumes of design data with its built in data management capabilities. For this demonstration, we'll use this sewing machine model created by Solid Edge user Bernina. As you can see, it has many parts and subassemblies. We want to know if all of the parts are at the latest revision and if they're released for manufacturing. We simplify the display to show the internal components and select the Get Latest command from the Data Management ribbon. The parts that have a later revision available are highlighted. These are the ball clamps that are shown in red. All other parts are ghosted and are made non-selectable. Parts with a later revision available are also flagged in the Assembly Pathfinder. The command bar has options to turn off the display of the ghosted parts as well as options to toggle between highlighting all parts with later revisions or only those where the later revisions have a status of released. You can individually select the parts you want to replace with the latest revision or do this for all parts. You can see in the assembly pathfinder that the ball clamp is now at revision B and the red check shows it's released. Next, we'll create a new revision of the subassembly that includes the clamp. The revision command provides exact control over selecting and revising parts, assemblies, and drawings. Here, we use the new option to create a new revision of the subassembly. Note that the associated draft file is also changed to the next revision level. This guide model is another part that was highlighted when we ran the Get Latest and is flagged with an icon in the Assembly Pathfinder. The tooltip also shows available revision information. Selecting this part and running Revisions, we can see the complete revision history of this part and we can display thumbnail previews of these revisions. You can see that there is a released Revision B available and we select this revision for the Replace operation. You can also specify if you want to replace this individual occurrence or all occurrences in the subassembly or the complete assembly. You can also create a new part instead of a new revision when performing a replace operation. Here, we'll create a new part for this bracket by copying the existing part and applying a new part number. A new drawing is created at the same time. Using these revision management tools, you can create individual records of a machine or piece of equipment as it was delivered to a customer and keep track of the machine as it is maintained and customized. The new part number can be generated automatically using the Assign All option. This helps eliminate the possibility of duplicate file names and part numbers. Synchronous technology makes it very easy for you to make the required design change. In this example, we quickly remove the holes and modify the geometry for one of the flanges in the bracket. Open Drawing allows you to directly open the associated drawing for a part. Here we use this command to quickly open the drawing of the bracket and update it to incorporate the new design. Note that the title block is automatically updated to include the new part number. The built-in Solid Edge data management capabilities help users to make design changes easily without being too restrictive and without requiring complex and expensive PDM software. Now we'll open another subassembly and use the Design Manager tool to work on this assembly model. We use the Find Duplicates option to detect any duplicate file names or part numbers. This situation can arise when Solid Edge files are brought in from an external supplier or when an old design project is accessed. The absence of a green check against some of the parts indicates at least one duplicate file exists. The top line on the right-hand side of the dialog shows the file used in the assembly. The line underneath shows where the duplicate file is located. Duplicates can be due to the same file name or the same document number being used. Additionally, data in the dialog lets you determine if you're using the correct file by seeing if there's an associated draft file and when it was last saved. If the duplicate found is actually the correct file, it can be easily replaced into the assembly. 
These built-in data management capabilities are a standard part of Solid Edge. You can start using them after running the Windows Indexer on the folder where you store your Solid Edge files. They help speed the completion of tedious data management tasks and minimize errors in the product development and manufacturing process. Thank you.